most of us would love to wake up with long healthy beautiful hair every single morning and i'm one of them to be honest i have my bad hair days too but i have picked up a few tips and tricks over the years that have been game changing for me so in today's video i'm going to be sharing how to get beautiful hair that you absolutely love Hey guys, what's up? It's Drithi here. Welcome to That Look You Love. Now, we live in a day and age that has so many products to choose from and it's really important that you're using the right products for you. So, my hair has gone through hair color, bleach, uh, hair straightening, keratin treatment, relaxing and heat damage. But after experimenting, these are some of the products that have been working for me. So the first one is my shampoo and conditioner. This is by L'Oreal. This brand for my shampoo and conditioner has always been a winner. For years, my favorite one has been the purple bottle by L'Oreal. Unfortunately, that is not widely available in Canada. So this is something that I got from the drugstore that actually did the best job out of all the other experiments with Dove and Pantene that I tried. One of the hair problems that I've always had to deal with is dandruff and for that I use my apple cider vinegar bottle. I've literally finished half of it because I also drink it in the morning um, and I also use it for my hair. So I dilute half and half apple cider vinegar and half warm water, spray it onto my scalp and massage it. I keep it in for 20 to 30 minutes, sometimes just rinse my hair with it after I shampoo. So you can do either but it actually has made a difference to my dandruff. And rough. Hair fall is another major problem I've had to deal with because of my PCOS and for that I oil my hair once a week. I use castor oil and I mix it with uh, coconut oil and I also use amla oil. It really helps this mixture. Just warm it for like 10 seconds in the microwave and use a cotton to put it on your scalp. Massage it really really well. Um, this has actually made a huge difference to the health of my hair. Another tip that has helped my hair fall is using a big tooth comb or even a brush that is actually static free or tangle free. There are some hair brushes which have that ball like thing on the bristles and I find that really really weird. It tangles my hair, it breaks my hair but this one has been with me for so long. So now when it comes to hair coloring, I am someone who loves to experiment with my hair and I have been trying the overtone hair colors. Really great, they're not permanent but the interesting part is that when you're coloring your hair for the first time with overtone, it's actually a deep conditioner. So every time you wash your hair, some color will leave your hair and then when you use the conditioner, it's adding more color to your hair without damaging it. The lighter the hair, the better it will show on your hair, of course. Great experience using it. And the black one is definitely going to be my next color. Now coming to some hair styling products. Like I said, I don't wake up with beautiful hair naturally because this is my hair texture. Of course, there's some effort that goes into it. This is a quick dry primer spray. Whenever you're using any kind of hair styling technique, just like in makeup, keeps that hairstyle intact for long. So when I'm doing curls or stuff like that, I like to use this. This one's really easy to use. I've had this for a really long time. It comes with like five attachments, so five different variations of curls you can achieve. Um, I love this one and you could even set your temperature. So that's really awesome. But this is an occasional thing. Once in a while when I just feel like changing it up, this is what I do. Dry shampoo is something everyone must own. When my hair is all sweaty and oily and I really don't want to wash my hair every alternate day, it gets tedious. This is something that I use on days where my hair is looking really flat, I love to use this voluminizing leave-in spray. It's like a leave-in serum like it says. I basically spray some on my hands, mix it and apply it to all of my hair just like I would do with a leave-in serum. Before blow drying, this quarantine, something new that I've been trying is to blow dry my hair whenever I wash it. This has been the game changer. It stays that way for the next two to three days. I let my hair dry for up to 70% and then for the remaining 30% I just blow dry my hair using the brush it takes 5 minutes, no heat damage I'm going to continue this even after quarantine because I have loved how I just wake up with beautiful salon like hair and feel groomed when you feel groomed you feel beautiful so those were all the ways let me know in the comments below any tips and tricks that y'all have don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button if you haven't I'll see y'all in my next one super soon bye